In this episode of the Online Classroom, we're looking at the bathtub curve, which is a conceptual framework for thinking about reliability. There are three modes of failure in the bathtub curve. First is early failure, and this is where the failure rate is quite high in the early stages of the life cycle of the product. A typical example of this might be a manufacturing defect, which means that a large number of problems occur early on. A second mode of failure is the wear out failure. This is typical in a mechanical system, for example, where over a long period of time, parts get worn and failure occurs as a result of wear out. The final mode of failure is random failure. And these are things that could happen at any time without notice. For each of these modes of failure, you're hoping that the amplitude is as low as possible. Because when these types of failure combine, you end up with a higher, you end up with the likelihood of failure in the shape of a bathtub over the product's life cycle. The bathtub curve is an important framework for thinking about the electric vehicle. For the designer, it means that they need to ensure that the battery system is really reliable because a high rate of early failure might decrease the potential for people adopting the product. For the consumer, it's also an important way of thinking about the problems that might come up when you buy an electric vehicle. And it might be worthwhile waiting for later generation technology because there'll be a reduced likelihood of early failure. That wraps up the Bathtub Curve Online Classroom.